Hello guys and welcome to Windows3Poor.com. In this video, we're gonna try to fix Wi-Fi not working on laptop but working on other devices. This problem was reported by many users and in this video, I'm gonna show you a few solutions that can help you fix this problem. First of all, we're gonna run the Windows Troubleshooter, which will tell us what is the problem with our Wi-Fi connection. To do that, you're just gonna have to go to the internet icon, right-click on it, and click on Troubleshoot Problems. And here, you'll see that Windows will automatically try to detect the problem and will try to fix it if it can. After you've done that, if Windows didn't manage to solve the problem, you should try to renew your IP. To renew your IP, you're gonna have to click on the search box and then type in there CMD, right click on CMD and run as administrator. In CMD, you're gonna have to type in IP config slash release, then press enter. And after that, you're gonna have to type in IP config slash renew. Then again, press enter and Windows will renew your IP. The last solution from this video, if none of those that I presented earlier worked, you should reinstall your network drivers. To reinstall your network drivers, you should right click on this PC and click on manage. And then in this new window, you're gonna have to click on device manager. And here you're gonna have to look for network adapters. Click on this arrow to expand network adapters. Right click on the driver and uninstall. After you've done that, you should restart your Windows. Windows will automatically install a new driver for you. But to make sure that you have the latest driver, you should try to use the program driver updater. You're gonna have the link for this program in the description down below. Just download it from there and you'll see that the program will automatically check for your drivers and will let you select the drivers that you wanna install or update. And then you just have to click on update all and you're gonna have the latest version of your drivers. So I'm hoping after watching this video, you managed to solve the problem and now you can use your wireless connection on your laptop. But if the problem is not solved, don't forget that in the description down below, you have an article that will lead you to our website. In the article, you'll find many more solutions to the problem. So don't forget to check that out. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment Comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day!